Okay, now you're all signed in and you're ready to assign lessons to your students. So you can click on your classroom. I'm going to click on third grade. And I'm going to click assign. So you will see all of the topics from every module. Now I'm only going to assign the first one, module one. Now you can look and see Khan Academy gives a lot of videos, a lot of chunk and check questions for the students to answer to make sure they're mastering what they're um, what they are learning. They can watch those videos as many times as they want. They can answer those questions over and over until they get a hundred. Um, the goal is mastery here. So you can decide which lessons you want to assign. If you look at topic A, there's many videos and many chunk and checks. Now topic A is only three lessons from Eureka. So you're gonna closely have to closely look at your over, overview of module topics and lessons and look at your lessons that Khan Academy is providing to make sure that those are the lessons you want. Um, you can preview the lessons. You can just click on it. It'll show you the video. You can click on the questions. It'll show you all the question sets, you know, that your students will be answering. Um, and then right on the right hand side, you can go ahead and click that box if you want to assign. Oh wait, I signed too many. <laughs> if you want, I want to assign just topic, just module or topic A. So just click topic A. If you click module one, it's gonna assign all of them. Now that's up to you if you wanna do that. If you want students to work at their own pace, that's fine too. But so I just click topic A. And once students are done with topic A and topic B, they're actually going to get an 11 question quiz. And you can actually take the quiz. You can click on it and you can take the quiz so you can see the types of questions that your students are going to be answering. Once your students are done answering questions, let's just say you want to see how they're doing. You can click on your classroom and you can click on scores. So when you click on scores, it's going to give you a snapshot view of how your students did on every single lesson. If you click on that student's name, it's also going to give you an, another view letting you know that this student, um, so let's see down here, this student had four attempts at the lesson and they still only got a 75%. So you can actually still click on that and it'll show you the questions that your students got wrong. You can reassign that to your students. And again, your students can keep trying um, until they master it, or that could be something that you, you know, work one-on-one -on -one with the student to see what it is that they're really not mastering and to help them understand. And when you have all of your students, it'll show you a graph that will show you like, questions that all of your students struggled with. So you'll be able to take that and use that information to help drive your lessons when you're doing your small group or one-on-one -on -one lessons.